I have a couple of pieces of advice to any aspiring academic Caesar. Uh, and they, the first piece of advice has to do with how to deal with academics. And the second piece of advice has to do with how to deal with students. In the case of how to deal with academics, I think the academic Caesar needs to keep in mind that academics are just as proprietary and just as selfish as anyone else is in any kind of organization. They are, they are in a sense, very much concerned about what it is to promote their own lines of research, their own modes of teaching, that they have become very familiar uh, and, and accustomed to over the years. Nevertheless, the academic Caesar has to be championing the university as a forward-looking, futuristic or, uh, institution that may have to challenge some of these notions that the academics hold very near and dear in terms of the way they work uh, and the kinds of work that they do. On the other hand, with regard to students, I do not think that a student uh, should go to a university under the expectation that the customer is always right, that the point of going to a university is actually to be challenged, and that this should be the reason, this should be the thing that the student knows that he or she is signing up to when they go to a university. So in other words, what they are being challenged to do is they're being challenged to think about what it is to have an autonomous, self-responsible form of life regardless of what career or what job one enters into. So it's a training for life. It's a training of the whole person. This is what the university ought to be about, and students should be attracted to a university primarily on those grounds, because we already know that in the kind of economic climate in which we live, it is very unlikely that any student going to a university today will retire from the same job in which he or she started. They will, you will go through many different kinds of positions, maybe even um, be unemployed, but nevertheless you will still be the same person. And what is that person and what does it mean to think for oneself in society? And this is something that the university is unique in being able to provide the kind of training for.